Hey guys, so I'm basically just making this video because I want to um, link to this guy, Shlomo Friedman, who was recommended to me by somebody on Reddit um, over the weekend uh, on a post that I made talking about manifesting stuff incrementally. There was this post on Reddit um, where somebody was basically saying, look, if you want to manifest wealth, you have to connect to the, you know, limitless, you know, you have to get your mind in the place of like, what you would do with all this money like if you had like millions and millions of dollars like you need to connect to this feeling of you know how you would just like buy whatever you wanted and spend whatever you wanted and so i kind of like made a rebuttal to this because for me that's not how it worked at all there was no connecting to any kind of like pie in the sky type of you know money situation because that's not me you know i'm i'm not the type of person who uh, is flashy no matter how much money I ever have I will never um, you know be all that interested in status symbols like you know I wanted a nice engagement ring it's a piece of jewelry that I wear every day so Matt bought me an expensive engagement ring um, but I don't drive an expensive car I don't live in a flashy house and so basically the point that I was trying to make in my rebuttal to this post is that it's going to be highly individual how you connect to you know what it would feel like to have more than you have now in a way that feels natural enough that it comes about in your reality because as Neville says naturalness is key and I'm so happy to find that Shlomo is saying the same exact thing in fact he describes it as the salami method I'm going to link to I'll link to um I think the one that has where he talks about the salami method and uh and his big one, which is basically distilling reality transurfing, the book reality transurfing into like, you know, its basics. And it has this crazy story at the end. You really need to watch these two videos. But so when he talks about the salami method, he's basically saying you take a little thin, you slice it real thin. That, that was the whole salami thing. You slice it real thin. You just add a little thin layer onto what you already know you can do. You take a little thin layer of what you can't currently do and you manifest that. And it's what I was saying in this post is basically for, for most people, if you go from being totally broke, like paycheck to paycheck, negative net worth, if you, if you go from that to a millionaire and it doesn't take you your entire life uh, to do it, it's probably gonna happen incrementally. It's probably not gonna be a lottery win because the vast majority of people, and, and I'm just, this is just an observation. You know, I have my own experience of, I don't think I could, you know, just like get, I don't know, besides the point, the, the, the vast majority of the people that I observe fail at trying to make that big of a mental leap. They're, they need to go through the steps to get there in order to become the person that's comfortable with, you know, each new level, you know, just jumping from zero to 60 doesn't work for most people. That's my observation. It's not, you know, somebody, somebody replied with, this is just riddled with limiting beliefs. And I was just like, yeah, okay, well, you know what? You can uh, try to like become unlimited to the point where you can go from being a bag lady to, you know, um, the president of the United States, but you're probably gonna be wasting your time. It's just that simple. Based on observation, can some people do it? Yeah, most people can't. Um, it's just that simple. So, incremental is the way to go when you're trying to make a major change um you know you can you can manifest a major thing that you don't have right now if it's something that you're ready to have and something that you're comfortable having so if say you are a previous millionaire and you are um you know down on your luck for whatever reason you, you know you you made the choices that have gotten you to the point where now you're destitute again for you, it's gonna be different than it would be for somebody who's lived their whole life that way. So it's got really nothing to do with where you are now and everything to do with where your mentality is. So I think, you know, this is why, um, you know, millionaires go bankrupt and then they're right back, you know, in a year, a couple years, they're right back to where they were. It's why when I say like, what would Bill Gates do if he just leapt into this dude's body, this like guy living in a shithole apartment making $500 a week or whatever, would that would Bill Gates sleep into this guy's body and would he need to go through the incremental steps? No, he already has the millionaire mentality and would use whatever was available at that guy's disposal to 
you know, get right back on the road to being a billionaire. Um, so it's all about mentality. So for the vast majority of people, you're gonna be taking the incremental route. You're gonna be taking the slow and steady wins the race route for major changes. This, you know, every person's life has all different aspects. And this isn't something that applies to every single aspect in your life. It only really applies to the ones that where, you know, uh, it's a journey of, you know, a thousand miles and you have to take a single step and then another and another. You know, it's, it's not like for somebody who, um, you know, is just like, wanting a, a great job and they're and they're it doesn't appear to exist you know and and they already are the person who can slide right into that role seamlessly you know that's a different story so you have to you know you kind of have to use your common sense and your brain about what to do with yourself with all of this um but so anyway i just wanted to make this video because i want to link to shlomo because shlomo's freaking awesome i happen to have a a uh, strange connection to he's an he is like an older Israeli guy and uh I just love those guys I <laughs> I have a connection to the Jewish population I would say 50 percent of the people that I love the most in this world are Jewish people both people that live in Israel and reform Jews in, in the United States because I went to summer camp for Jewish kids, even though I'm not Jewish, which is very weird, I know, but I had a Jewish best friend when I was like 12 and uh, we went to summer camp together. By the next year, we weren't friends anymore, but I kept going to that camp until halfway through high school. And so um, I have, you know, all of these dear friends that um, I spent, you know, a month living in close quarters with shut off from the outside world a month at a time for like five years and um there's just there's just no substitute for for that experience if i could relive any four months of my life five months it would be those months at summer camp with all of my jewish friends learning how to sing in hebrew participating in shabbat and the services and everything else uh just really cool. So I feel this like big connection. So when I saw Shlomo, I, when, when this person um, linked this video to me, she's like, have you heard of Shlomo Friedman? I was like, you had me at Shlomo. Um, so I'm going to link to him. And from what I've watched of him, he and I are basically saying the exact same thing about everything. So that's really exciting. I don't think I've seen another person who, um, you know, has base is basically um, it, I don't want to say interpreting because I guess it is up to interpretation. I don't, I haven't seen anybody else who interprets reality transurfing and Neville Goddard and all that stuff the same way that I do quite this way before. And we have almost the same number of subscribers to our channel, which is validating to me. Although he has far fewer videos. He's, he's way more, his videos are way more popular than mine are, but uh, it just made me happy because you know, um, on YouTube, I'm often just like, God, I can't believe the number of like the number of people that are just spewing complete garbage that have these huge followings. And it's just like, it's just gross. Like, you know, nobody wants to hear the truth about anything. And so, um, yeah, uh, I wish Shlomo all the best and I hope his channel just like totally takes off. Um, if any of you have already been watching him, would you leave me a comment? I'm really interested to see if there's a crossover here. Uh, because yeah, I just, I find it really interesting that we're saying the same thing, but I, I'm guessing we have a completely different following based on, um, the fact that I came from Reddit and then I'm, you know, 30 years younger and not living in Tel Aviv and, you know, I'm, I just find it interesting. So anyway, if you've heard of him or you've watched him before, um, leave me a comment. I'm just curious. And I will link to the videos that he that I've seen of his that I liked. I've liked everything I've seen, but I've only watched a few videos of his. So I'll link to those and um, you can enjoy him. He's writing a book too. So hopefully that'll be something you get in the future. Have a great day.